हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर प्रशांत पाटिल टुडे वी आर हियर टू स्टडी पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल सो इन दिस इज द टॉपिक इन लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्सेंट कोशन सो टू फाइंड आउट पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल वी स्टडीड अबाउट मेथड वन दैट इज शॉर्टकट मेथड इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ केसेस नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी हैव टू स्टडीड केस नंबर सेवन सो केस नंबर सेवन टू फाइंड आउट पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल अकॉर्डिंग टू शॉर्टकट मेथड इज इट इज डिपेंड्स ऑन फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एफ ऑफ एक्स फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स दैट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स इन टू वी वेयर वी इज एनी फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स देन वी कैन अप्लाय शॉर्टकट केस नंबर सेवेन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू केस नंबर सेवेन Now consider y p is given here one upon phi of d into x into v. So whenever x into v is given, then we have to apply case number four. So according to case number four, case number seven, sorry, we have standard equation. So case number seven, y p is equal to x minus phi dash d upon phi of d into one upon phi of d into v. so this is the equation which can be applied for case number 7 so it means this case number 7 which converted into one case 1 2 3 or 4 then we have to solve numerical on the basis of this four cases then we get particular integral now let you take one numerical to understand case number 7 better way so find out for example find out yp that is particular integral of the differential equation is d square y plus 4y is equal to x sin x now here we have to calculate the value of particular integral now simplify this equation so we get d square plus 4 bracket complete y is equal to x sin x now write down standard equation of particular integral that is 1 upon phi of d means function of d is d square plus 4 Into x sin x. Just observe the function of x. Here, x into sin x, that is x into v, where v is any function of x, is given here. It means we have to apply case number seven. So to apply case number seven, we need to find out derivative of phi of d. So phi of d is d square plus four, which is given here. we need to calculate derivative of differential equation so that is 2d plus derivative of 4 is 0 so we get the phi dash d is 2d now just put the value of phi of d and phi dash d in standard equation of case 7 so according to case 7 we can write down yp is equal to x minus phi dash d upon phi of d into phi of d into v just put the value of derivative And phi of d and v here, so we get according to this e equation, x minus phi dash d is 2d. Just put here, so it will be 2d upon phi of d is given d square plus 4 into bracket. This is the value of 1 upon phi of d, so it will be 1 upon d square plus 4 into v is given here. V is nothing but a sine x. It means case number 7 which converted into sin x that is case number 2 so we have to apply the concept of case 2 here because sin is given when sin is given then we have to apply case 2 so according to case 2 sin x that is a is 1 we write down here sin x is nothing but a sin ax so coefficient of x is 1 so we have to consider a as a 1 so according to case 2 We need to put d square is equal to minus of a square, and a is one. It means minus of one square, that is minus one. So y p become x minus two d upon d square. Instead of d square, we have to put minus one. So minus one plus four into one upon minus one plus four into sine x. So this equation become x minus two d upon three into one upon three of sine x. Now just simplify this equation. So we get one by three is common. X multiplied 
to sin x to this uh, bracket so it will be x into sin x that is x sin x minus 2 by 3 into d of sin x and remember d stand for derivative so finally we get the value of yp is 1 by 3 into x sin x minus 2 by 3 into d sin x means derivative of sin is cos so this is the value of yp so case 7 is very simple so by using this numerical we can understand case number 7 how to implement case number 7 and find out particular integral thank you so guys stay innovative stay hungry subscribe the channel press the bell icon i will get back to you very soon with new stuff till then bye bye